I'm in Alexandria, Virginia at a restaurant the locals say have cheesesteaks that are better than the ones in Philadelphia. Started in 1955, this is the original spot for cheesesteaks in the DC Metro. Welcome to Al's. These cheesesteaks are better than Philadelphia's by far. All the sausage, it's, it's awesome. So how does a cheesesteak joint open in 1955 in Alexandria? It was originally opened by Al Martino, who was a former boxer from my understanding, and he owned it for 10 years. It's from Philly, so he brought the Philly cheesesteak here. Now how did you guys get involved in it? We were longtime customers. John Severson was the second owner who was a previous employee of Al Martino's, and he owned it for 53 years. And my husband always joked with him about, you know, hey John, when you're ready to sell, let me know. Yeah. And unfortunately, we lost John in 2015 to cancer. So you guys came in, he showed you all the secrets. So you specialize in the cheesesteak. What else do you guys specialize in? Our own half smokes that we make in-house, meatball sub. We okay. make our own meatballs in-house. We also have our own pizzas. And we make our pizza dough, our pizza sauce. We also have the chicken filly, a lot of customers like that. And we also make our own Rubens. And what are we making today? We're going to make half smokes and the traditional Philly cheesesteak. Okay, assuming we're going to start with the cheesesteak? Absolutely. Okay, let's do it. How many cheesesteaks do you guys go through a day? On a busy day, we could be anywhere up to 300 cheesesteaks. 300 cheesesteaks? Yeah. Put about a half a pound on just the eight inch sub rolls. Oh, wow. So you go through 150 ish pounds of meat a day sometimes? Yes, pretty much. Man, that's a lot. So this is a really good ribeye here. Not too much fat on it. Just a little bit. You want that to give it a little bit of flavor, a little bit of juice. And it's so thin that it pretty much will melt when you cook it. That's a good piece of ribeye right there. This is what we do every morning. This is a beautiful sight right here. What's that, about 25 pounds of meat right there? Uh, it's 30 pounds. You chop it down real nice and fine. So do you prefer ribeye over like a top round, bottom round? Ribeye is more tender. Uh, the slice up really good and also cook really good. What I'm gonna make for you today is gonna be, uh, it's called a Roman, and I have mushrooms, onions, and provolone cheese. That's one of our top sellers. Real quick, like cooking the meat, a little cheesesteak history. I'm so knowledgeable, man. The cheesesteak was invented in like the 1930s. There was a guy named Pat that had a hot dog cart. One day he happened to throw some steak in a roll, kind of just on a dare, and a cabbie smelled it. He gave him that sub, word got around on the cabbies, all of a sudden the dudes were like, bro, forget the hot dogs, just start cooking steaks. And that's how Pat's steaks, the king of steaks in Philly started. He was the first one, took off from there. So it started about 1940. So the fact that you guys have been here since 1955, mm -hmm. this place has to be one of the oldest cheesesteak joints in the US. I mean, there's no way around it. They didn't even start putting cheese on the cheesesteak till like the, the late 40s. You definitely <laughs> live. This dude definitely, good God. Is that from, is that from doing cheesesteaks? Dude's got like 20 inch guns. How many cheesesteaks you eat a day, man? I eat about one cheesesteak a day. I would too, Yeah, no doubt. I would put a little bit of my, uh, my Al's liquid on it. Yes, sir. What's in the Al's liquid? This is a different mixture of seasons that we put together that makes our special season. A lot of flavor, a lot of flavor. Get what's one thing in the house season? Just give me a little, ah. just a taste. <laughs> then I get my cheese out. Oh, provolone. So I think provolone, this is my personal favorite cheese for cheesesteaks. I think it's so underrated. Everyone likes the white American and the Wiz, which I like too. But the flavor of the provolone really works on a cheesesteak. Then I come over to my mushrooms. I take a little my onions already cooked up. Crisp them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything on mine, man. I want to keep it legit Philly. Okay. Just meat, cheese, onions, and mushrooms. Okay. Please. You melt my cheese a little more. So this is the one you eat every day? Yes, sir. Love it. You ever switch it up? Nah. Your onions nice and sauteed, mixed together with your mushrooms. I don't know why more people don't like mushrooms on the cheesesteak, man. <laughs> Gives the steak a better flavor, I think. Yeah, it does. It does. Hand right. me that roll, sir. Me... Hey, that's a nice roll. This is chewy, fresh. Feels like it holds the steak juice yes, in there nicely. Mm -hmm. Load it up, sir. Here you are, sir. This is a heavy sandwich. I want you to take a peek at the inside of that. A big sandwich. So as soon as you bite into this thing, you get hit with this awesome ribeye. This is a very high quality ribeye. You can tell 
just by the taste and the texture. And then with the provolone cheese on top, like I was saying, it gives it a real, a good salty flavor that mixes very well with the meat. Then you have this bread that it doesn't get too soggy. The sandwich isn't falling apart while you eat it. And then you get the shot of the owl seasoning with the mushrooms and the onions. This is a really good sub. So you fellas have been coming here a long time, I heard. Absolutely. How about you, Ben? It's, uh, coming here first time since 72. What do you normally get? Uh, I get the Roman. It's delicious. It's perfect. Delicious, and I know what used to work here. Yes, but every time I come back in here, it's, it's, it's like coming home. So you've never been to Al's? First time here. What do you think of the cheese steak? It was great. It was great. The steak, the bread, the cheese, you name it, it's in there. You've been coming since 1994. That's a long time. What do you normally get? I always order the cheese steak. It's really good. You make everyone get it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, steak and cheeses are great here. Bread is what makes it. So now we're doing the half smoke. Absolutely. We're going to start off with pork butt. We're going to slice it into one inch strips, grind it up into a fine grind, and then we'll add the seasonings, put it in the casings, and get it on the smoker. Smoke it. I cannot believe you guys make these in house. We already got the one inch slices, so right. she's putting them in the grinder right now. Yep. For a half smoke, do you want it more coarse than a hot dog? Yeah, a little bit okay. more coarse. You want it to have some texture. Sure. So for those that don't know, a half smoke is actually a sausage. I don't think a lot of people know that. Right. So some half smokes are half beef and half Our, pork. Right. And that's kind of how they got the name half smoke, I think. Exactly. But ours is 100% pork. 100% pork. More fat, more flavor. Absolutely. That's what I thought. Yeah. What kind of season are we starting with? Non-fat milk base. And there's some seasons including garlic and pepper. Can't tell you what the rest of it is. And then we add two cups of ice water. How do you put ice water in there? Just um, curious. It helps to bind it up. Just let it mix till everything's combined very well. This is a lot of sausage. How many links will this full thing make? Get about 30. Now we're going to put them in the casings. Yeah. Is this called cranking out sausage? Yeah. All right, this is my first time. <laughs> I got a bum right arm. I'm going to do my best. Here we go. Man, I went yeah. the wrong way. Go All right, right here we go. <laughs> Rookie. I am good at this though. Oh, that is just so keep cool. Keep on going, it'll keep feed cranking. itself. Yep, and once I tell you to stop, you just go backwards. Okay? That way it stops the flow of the sausage. Got it. Okay, back up. A little reverse. We're gonna tie them off into appropriate lengths. Oh, that and is so awesome. And then we're so gonna awesome. put them in the smoker. This is fun. Easy. Just I might buy one of these here. from my house. Yeah. Oh, so you're so good, you just eyeball yeah, it, huh? Pretty much eyeball it. We're all tied off here? Yep. All right, now time. we're gonna go throw them in the smoker? Yep. All right, let's, all right go. So let's go. It hasn't rained in like a month, but of course the day I film is raining. Now we're going to put them in our well-seasoned smoker. It's about 225 degrees for about an hour. They're done and ready to come out of the smoker. Beautiful. Those have a really nice color to them. Nice rust. We'll go and take them inside and finish them off on the grill. So the dogs have rested for what, 15 minutes or so? Yes. Now you throw it on the grill. We're just going to put it on our bun with the mustard, top it off with some chili. So is this chili made in-house too? Yes, it is. It's actually made with our ribeye as well. Yum. So that's ribeye chili. Absolutely. You know that's going to be good. A little bit of onions on there and there you go. Oh, final product. Yeah. Get a close-up of that bad boy. All right, here we go. So right when you bite into this thing, you get exactly what you want in a half smoke. You get that snap from the casing. Then you get a blast of some garlic, some salt, and the perfect seasonings that you get in this thing. I really like the fact that it's on this big sub roll, because with the chili and the size of this thing, on a little roll, it'd be a freaking mess. So DC created the half smoke. This one in Alexandria does the job. Good stuff. Normally I get the steaky cheese, but today I went with the half smoke and the chili. It's not spicy, just right. I really like the steak and pepper. It's delicious. So you three grew up right down the street. What do you normally get? I get the meatball and cheese. It used to be called a Fillmore. Why'd they change the name? I do not know. How about you? Pizza steak. I've been having it for 40 years. How about you, sir? Uh, pizza steak. It's great. Got to try the cheese steaks, got to try the half smokes. Everything I had here was really good. If you're in the DC metro area and you want an authentic Philadelphia cheesesteak, Owls is definitely your spot. Thanks for watching the show and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.